So something else you talk about that struck me was, is this concept of superhumans and the 10 pillars of becoming better. But number eight, I like it's We believe that successful people start before they feel ready and fight when it gets hard. I could not agree more. If people that wait for that perfect time end up, you know, in their mom's basement, you know, waiting. The 10 pillars, for the most part, honestly, I just sat down and wrote down the things. What was, what was most important for me building this community was that I wanted people who believed the same things that I believed and were interested in living their life in the same way. And so I wrote down just the things that I started to believe and things that I thought were really important and uh, what I was looking for in, in teammates, you know, which is what I've had on great sports teams and also in the community that I'm building here. And uh, most of them were things that I learned through my various experiences, you know, one place to another. Number eight, it's interesting that you picked that one. That's actually one that I learned from Richard Branson. So oh. I, was, uh, I was at a conference in Moscow in Russia last year, and I got to – we got to see Richard Branson speak and uh, had a chance to meet him. And um, it was this little sort of forum that we were in where there was about a hundred entrepreneurs or so. And he was up on stage answering questions and it was, it was really neat. He was very candid. I thought I didn't feel like his answers were canned at all. But the reason I thought of this one that uh, successful people start before they feel ready is because of the story he told about how he started uh, Virgin airlines. And apparently he was on a plane uh, to, the uh, to the uh, Bahamas or to the uh, to actually I think it was to the Virgin Islands that was where he got the that's where he claims he got the name uh, Virgin Airlines even though the rest of his business is named Virgin anyway but uh, he said uh, I was in my late twenties so he like had a business but nobody really knew who he was at the time and uh, he said well I had a, a pretty girl waiting for me wherever I, you know where his flight was going and so he was pretty adamant to get there that night. And um, apparently his flight got canceled and he was, you know, annoyed by this. He really wanted to get there on time. And uh, so he started calling around about chartering a plane. And he was like, I didn't really have the money to charter a plane at the point, that point. But I told him like, okay, let's go ahead and order it. And he went over, picked up a small blackboard um, and went over to all the people who had had their flight canceled with him who were on the previous flight. And he just wrote on it, Virgin Airlines, $29.00 and sold off the rest of the spots on this chartered plane and used their money to buy the, <laughs> the chartered plane. And then they all went there that night. And I started thinking about that. And then I, you know, I got to listen to him talk more on a panel later that day. And uh, he was bringing up all these crazy ideas like, you know, screw it, just do it. And his whole philosophy. Yeah. And I was like, what is the thing that separates him from most other people? It's not, I mean, it's not necessarily that he's the most intelligent guy. He might not even be the smartest guy sitting on that panel right now, but the main thing is that he's willing to start before he feels ready. Like he had no business starting an airline company. He didn't know anything about it. He didn't have the money. But, and, you know, and how many of us have had a flight canceled? Like that happens to everybody. But only he was the one who decided to charter an airline and do something about it. And so I think that that general trend or that idea of start before you feel ready is so indicative of successful people in almost any field.